bruises are a big one. Um, for me, it wasn't as big of a deal, but for my brother, he had these terrible bruises all over as a baby. And my mom would be a little bit, or she was always a little bit paranoid that someone would think that maybe she was abusing him or something. But it was like, you know, normal baby things like you fall or something. And then he gets like this big lump purple bruise, you know, and uh, um, so bruises and he would have them all over. And so it's just part of being a little hemophiliac because you just have all these bumps and bruises. Um, another one that you hopefully wouldn't have to experience would be um, some kind of joint bleed or something where the baby is favoring you know like crawling only on one leg or something because the other one is hurting or something and then you realize that it was because there's internal bleeding in the joint um, and it hurts for the baby to move it and use it um, hopefully you would know that your baby had hemophilia before that point so you wouldn't be giving them that kind of um, you know the pain and the damage from a joint bleed um, but that would be another physical symptom of hemophilia. The biggest risk as far as babies being born goes would be uh, the, the males because they're the ones who are most likely to be severe. Um, and so there's certain prenatal tests that you can do to test your babies like genes and things like that to see if they have the um, bleeding disorder. Um, some of them are really risky. Um, and so a lot of times I think mothers will just let their baby be born naturally and um, they might do a blood test after they're born. Um, my mom actually felt like right about um, getting the am amniotic fluid tested and, um, and so that was really risky and a lot of people were like, are you sure you wanna do that because um, there is such a high like risk of miscarriage and um, so but she felt like there was something she needed to do with my brother because they knew he was a boy and so um, she did test it and she knew that he was he had hemophilia even before he was born so that's an option but it's risky and so I think a lot of people just wait till the baby is born and then do the blood test so we'll have to see <laughs>